Hello everyone, and welcome to my first 3D Games dev vlog, where today I have created a tavern, but before you see the final result, I will take you back to the beginnings of creating. So when creating the tavern, my core goal was to have a warm feeling, a welcoming feeling for the player for every return to said tavern. The idea was that the player enters the tavern and rolls the dice, and with multiplayer, if I implement it, we would have all the players enter the tavern, see each other roll their dice, and see what each person's stats would be. So it would be more of a meet-up place and entertaining spot before you go and delve into the dungeon. It will also include equipping gear, weapons, and basically all the stuff you purchase from the shop would be stored in the tavern to customize. The overall idea is after each run, the player enters the tavern, rolls their dice, picks their gear and then goes back out and into the cave or goes to the shop where they can spend their coins that they earn from the dungeon. Some key inspiration for the tavern were VR chat rooms that I used to interact and talk to people in because they always had this warm tone and the sizing of the actual tavern is one that just doesn't feel too big but it doesn't feel too small. It has enough in it content wise that it feels full. But overall, I'm pretty happy with how it turned out, and here is the finished product. So next, I decided to create the title screen, which was a bit of a struggle due to me not understanding Unreal's UI system. So trying to create a button similar to how I did it in Dwarvane was completely different. But in the end, I managed to put it all together and set up just a simple title screen. Now, I knew I wanted the title screen to remain in the world, so I took a copy of the tavern I created and placed it in its own scene and introduced the title screen UI and a bit of a camera movement. So when you build up the game, you are facing the tavern's bar and you can see all the weapons displayed in the background. Most of my time was spent trying to perfect the actual camera movement because I didn't want too much or too little, I just wanted it to feel just perfect. And by the end of it, I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. As you can see in this background clip, I added a pixel filter to the game and it is in the background of this title screen as well. My original version of hit detection was awful. It wouldn't hit the enemy half of the time, so I completely redone it using line traces instead. Now, when you hit an enemy, it consistently will trigger and kill them. And I can use this for new enemies and also for objects down the line that will be able to be destructible. Because the idea will be between enemies and objects, they'll drop coins that you'll pick up for extraction. With how I set up my combat, there is no lie, it was awful. Boring. So I changed that, adding in some camera bob and camera shake based on attacks. And here it is when it's actually working in a way that I want it to be. From combining all of the things I've merged together, alongside creating an exit point for the extraction mechanic, which will be coming up next, it creates a gameplay loop that at the moment, while simple, can be expanded upon with the shop, the tavern, more weapons, and obviously more enemies and more air of my own. Currently, I'm learning Blender so I can improve on the model skills and then I'll import my own assets, animations, character model, weapons, and everything else. So I'm slowly leaving all of my pre-made assets behind. So a part of the game's loop is the extraction mechanic, which I worked on by implementing a volume box, which I can place at any point. So I have one in the cave and one in the world that teleports you between the levels. So when you're in a cave, each floor will contain one extraction. And it'll be completely random where floor 2 and floor 3 and any further ones will be. 
I haven't designed how they're gonna look or how the actual dungeon will look in those areas. For beginning with it, the start point in the top layer is where there will be a ladder that leads out of the cave. So you'll always know where the extraction is on the first layer when going in for a run. With this mechanic, it means while taking the risk and hunting loot, killing enemies and getting resources, you do have the risk of losing all of it on you if you die during that run. So it's going to create a sense of risk versus reward. So if you're given lower stats, such as like one health and you're running through, you have a higher risk. But to counteract that, I ha will have a system where the less stats you have, the more rewarding the run is. So it encourages low run stats. But the counter argument for that is if you die, you lose it all. And then you're going to have to rerun with new stats that you get given. While setting up the system, also ensured that when you leave an area, you enter a new map based on the previous exit point. So I can designate different entry and exit points. So for the shop, the tavern, the cave, and when you enter and exit, you'll teleport slash spawn in that designated zone, which means it feels more seamless and more intuitive. So that's all for this devlog here. And if you want to stay up to date, make sure to drop a subscribe down below. And in the next one, we'll be covering new player animations, models, and weapons. Anyways, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.